Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading for, I guess it's mid-April, but we're just going to dive in and see what's going on with you. We're just, whatever you need. Um, this is Bear Food Mama Intuitive Reading. Welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, you can enter to win a free reading on 424 by putting free reading in the comments. And then you can book personal with me on my Etsy. There's a 15% off sale by using springtime um, in the checkout as the code. I think that's it. Patreon. Cash app, all the donation information is below. Let's get started. Yeah. It's like loud, resounding, solid. You might be having some sort of resounding, like epiphany um, or download. What else? Um, I wanted to say that I usually open with a prayer to like the light beings that I work with. Um, and I know that's not for everybody. Um, I'm not religious here and I don't condone like, um, any <laughs> cruelty. Wow. Any cruelty <laughs> or judgment against other people's religions. So if you're uncomfortable with the prayer, you can like just fast forward through real quick, but, um, spirit, please protect this reading, send any negative energy back to sender transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please bring clear messages through with this reading. And Mother Mary, please bring compassion to this reading. Amen, amen. So what it be? Dang, Capricorn. Valor. Okay, Mars and Gemini. Mars and Leo. Prince of Swords. You might have Capricorn in your chart. I'm being led to say, like, you might not be reading or you, you might not be listening for your sun or rising sign is what I'm hearing. Um, with the Ten of Swords on the bottom, this is really interesting. Um, sun and Libra. What's going on? There's like a lot of thinking here. Like you've had some sort of major download is what came through and you're learning how to protect your energy but also you're learning how to like hold your space so that you're doing what is right for you and being true to yourself because you've experienced a lot of cruelty from other people. Um, especially I'm hearing if you're like on a twin flame journey, cause you have Gemini here. I see that's the twins, right? You're, I don't know. You might be choosing with the Prince of Swords here to like disconnect from a connection with a twin. It could even like literally be a twin, like in, in the 3D. Um, Cause this Prince of Swords, he's got this sword up above and these three like ego identities, which are projections of what he would like to become or is thinking he might become. But he finds that these ego identities actually are imbalanced expressions of his self. And it's like knocking his chariot off course so he gets rid of them there might be things in your current reality that you find you're also doing that are like cruel to yourself like you might practice cognitive behavioral therapy um or be doing that right now as in order to like understand or become aware of the way that your thoughts towards yourself are actually like really potentially very cruel huh why is that coming out? Oh man, seven of pentacles. You feel like something you've invested a lot of time in has like, huh, has not come to fruition in the way you hoped it would. And then you have Venus and Aquarius reverse. The five of swords reverse. There's something you haven't said or didn't say and you may feel like you should have said something okay what is what is this situation about spirit queen of cups reverse could be dealing with a water sign sun in virgo the eight of pentacles reverse the princess of wands and the prince of swords going forward I like the Princess of Wands and the Prince of Swords going forward because um, I feel like that's a pretty balanced energy. 
the Prince of Swords is learning how to like cut himself loose from these thought processes that seem to have been afflicting you or maybe are still currently afflicting you a little bit. Um, and then the Princess of Swords knows how to move forward with her passion. They both have these like vehicles. Um, hers is like heat and wind and this tiger that she's tamed and this sun staff. So she's able to like light her own way. And then the Prince of Swords is also, he's able to think his own way. So you're like holding aloft a light and then also like illuminating, illuminating the way somehow with your thought process itself. I feel like you've kind of been going through it a little bit though, Capricorn. I'm not going to lie. Um, what is the Queen of... I want to know who the Queen of Cups reverse is at the center of your reading. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I feel like you haven't been being very compassionate to yourself. Um, you feel like you could have done more, should have done more, would have done more in a, maybe it's just like a, a life review kind of situation where you feel like, like you should have been more accomplished by now and you're just like not for some reason. Oh, I got this like sinking in my solar plexus chakra. Um, your willpower could be affected by your thoughts somehow or your like emotions knight of wands reverse i feel like you are dealing with like a kind of this is interesting it's like you're you're dealing with like you have these passions to express right and you go from the knight of wands to the princess of wands which is good that's a progression but your knight of wands right now is reversed so you've been repressing some passions and I feel like they've been coming out in ways that have been um, self-destructive with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Seven of Pentacles reverse. And you're finding ways to undo this with the Five of Swords reverse. Again, by like recognizing the thoughts that you're having about your situation, about yourself, and potentially how just being hard on yourself is actually giving you more anxiety. I was talking to a friend today about how, like when I quit smoking weed, um, I realized, like, I had realized basically that the, the craving for weed had become, like, more of an anxiety-inducing thing than, than the smoking of weed was relieving any anxiety. And I was like, oh, this is not, like, working anymore. Um, so, yeah, there's something here where, like, you've been turning to something for relief that's not relieving you anymore, and it may even have become, like, destructive um in a way it could be anything um with the nine of wands here i'm seeing like like dance or um maybe like one night stands and i'm no judgment here like if, if that's the phase you're in and that's what you're going about doing like people do that and it's okay <laughs> just be safe um but there's something here about you wanting to be more grounded and more stable and wanting to get out of this and connect more with your emotional self but also there's there's like a like a cognitive dissonance there where like if connecting with your emotional self is what needs to be done you're a little bit like hesitant to go there you want to turn towards your intellect and towards your energy first and kind of ground those in a more stable path like turn your energies towards things that you find are logically like um stable first what is the um you have seven seven here you might be seeing seven 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 page of pentacles on the bottom what is the um valor card here the hermit you might be dealing with a virgo because you have sun and virgo reversed here and then the hermit is the virgo major arcana you may have been dealing with a virgo in leo season who said something to you um about i don't know something that made you feel like worthless somehow yeah that's what I'm getting with that. And you're undoing what this person said to you. Like, it really affected you. Two of Cups. They might, you might have been dealing with a Virgo who was like a Two of Cups connection for you, like a relationship connection. And they may, may, may have made you feel like totally worthless. Um, why is that what's coming through? Also, nobody can make you feel any way like, and I think that's what you're learning. Like you, you don't need to allow other people to affect your emotions um, and your thoughts about yourself this strongly, but you encountered this person as a lesson 
to understand your own strength and your own stability being the queen of pentacles is your your card capricorn um you're able to feel confident in yourself feel nourished feel connected through nature um feel connected with the divine and in your divine feminine energy and if this person who you were dealing with couldn't see your value like it's their loss Ace Pentacles upright. Yeah, totally. Like, you know the work you're doing. You know the work you've done. You know what you've been through. This person totally judged you based on, like, their own insecurities. Two of Wands. You may also, like, have been doing some work in the past with this person or um, in a business connection um, or working for somebody that just made you feel worthless and you changed jobs. Um, it just took you a while or you're about to change jobs. What's the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune. Woohoo! Um, this was destiny. It was fated. It was something you were supposed to do. It was supposed you were supposed to go through um, in order to learn this lesson about your worth, about your self-worth. And this is going to manifest in your reality. Um, or it is currently manifesting in your reality, potentially in like signs, symbols, synchronicities, things lining up, um, seeing like the bigger picture as well as potentially like actual material things like being gifted something or getting a check in the mail from a job, that old job that you like don't work at anymore. They didn't pay you one month or something ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is just the universe. Things are starting to like turn in your favor and you're like, Oh man, finally. Um, what else? Judgment. This judgment card can indicate a resurrection um, of this queen of cups reverse is what I'm hearing, like an emotional state that you haven't felt in a while, an emotional state of like freedom, being able to let yourself open and also to receive. She's both receiving and projecting her face is torn, turned up towards the light and her spirit is soaring. So there's something about you receiving to be able to ascend. Um, in yoga, we call it like grounding down to go up right like because we ground down through our feet and then it allows us to push up off the ground to lift up so there's like this um and she has the black and white like energy on both sides yin and yang there's something about you having gone through like the eye of the needle like down 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 and then finding that you're coming up like I'm almost thinking of the page of cups card in this deck because his feet are like on the top of the card and his head and his body are on the bottom. It's got that kind of feeling. Five of Wands. Um, there might be like competition for you at this time, and it's making you feel really good. Um, there may also be just uh, things in your mind that you're considering doing, and you're not quite sure which one to do first or how they all fit together. Queen of Cups reversed again. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords reversed. Wow. That's crazy because we had the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Cups here. That is like... The chances of that are crazy. These are two different decks. Um, So you are undoing... This Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. You might feel bad about betraying somebody. Or you might feel like you have betrayed somebody because you, like... You were tired of being like broke with them or something like you were tired of feeling like you weren't going anywhere and you might you might have cut this person off um and it's important for you to remember like they did make you feel worthless and you might as you come to know your worth realize like it wasn't their fault or you know maybe it was and, and you just have compassion um but you're currently like blocking out your compassion still i think towards yourself and this person because there's a lot of um emotional stuff to process there and you're you don't really feel quite like ready yet to dive all the way into that again you want to focus on your stability on the things you want to do um my left ear is ringing what about this i'm a scorpio so like my emotional stuff is like heavy but i have a ton of capricorn in my chart like I have almost like equal parts Scorpio and Capricorn and it's like the weirdest placements. I don't understand. But um, Queen of Cups Reverse is telling me uh, what I was t trying to get at was like I process things through emotion. Um, 
I process my emotions first, right? <laughs> my my intellect just informs the emotional stuff. And I feel like Capricorns are a little bit like opposite where like their emotions inform like this really strong intellect, like your emotions inform this really strong intellect and this really strong like energy to get things done. Um, especially when you have goals to achieve, which is admirable and amazing. But there's something here, the magician, Queen of Swords. Okay, there's something here, like, whatever is going on with you, you feel like you can't manifest from an emotional place. Like, you feel like you have to manifest from a place of being, like, very um, clear, very calculating, very analytical. Um, and it's like you, when you do manifest, you do so with just clear-cut intention. You know exactly what you're manifesting and exactly why you're manifesting i just can't keep the high priestess i was gonna say i just can't keep understanding like i can't keep feeling like why this emotional thing component is important there's something here about needing to listen to your emotions in order to inform your intuition with the high priestess right like there's something about the high priestess the high priestess is intuitive she's water she's receptive um, and then the eight of swords, eight of swords. I feel like you don't manifest with your emotions because you're afraid of, first of all, you don't want to process this thing, right? Like you're like, no, I'm just going to move on and try not to process it. Or like, I don't need to process that. I'm good. Like I'm solid. Um, I've been through it. I processed it. It's awesome. But there's something about the depth of it that will welcome this high priestess energy for you, right? Moving from the magician to the high priestess. And it's, I feel like it's about bringing this deep emotional, like, thorn that you've been avoiding up and just seeing it for what it is. What is it? What is it? The moon? <laughs> what? I'm all, you're going to bring this thing up and see it for what it is. And it's all the moon. No, you're not. <laughs> you're like insisting on not looking at this thing. Or maybe you can't, you know, it could be something that it's just like, so abstract and so subconscious and outside the realm of our like rational and even our natural like state that you're you're like no I can't bring that up but I'm totally getting this feeling of like thalassophobia right now like like you're swimming on the like the life of pi right like you're swimming out in the ocean and you're on a boat and you're afraid of what's in the water but if you get on your boat there's like a tiger and a bear and you gotta like face them um that's totally the feeling i'm getting right now like you it's kind of no matter where you go this thing is is surging up for you to face and i don't feel like it's a bad thing i just i have this feeling like it's you it's, it's one of those things where it feels huge and it feels tremendous and it feels like oh so scary like a monster under the water but when you face it when it finally like clicks what it is in your brain, you're going to be like, oh, I was running for myself the whole time. Like, why was I doing that? Um, and I just have this sense of relief coming. The Knight of Swords, there's a message coming to you. I think from Spirit about the importance of your um, safety with the red shoe here. The importance of your safety. And the importance of being grounded. Your safety is in your connection with spirit as you move through your shadow um, because this white on his sweatshirt is spirit and the black shorts is like the shadow self, like just the, the yin yang um, again. And then he's got this bike and the bike is like moving forward in balance with his light and shadow. And it's like your shadow is sort of the dominant right now. Um, but this is moving in your favor towards 
something more balanced as the nine of swords and ten of swords get reversed here why are the nine and ten of swords reverse the chariot here we go black and white holy moly your chariot's moving forward what was i saying black and white energy like you're you're moving forward you're riding something you might actually be like taking a trip or like going on a train or like even riding a horse um you could like you could be in a, a wheelchair it that's only for people who like already are and that's just like your your mode of like transportation right now or like that's this isn't to say that you will be in a wheelchair if you're not but like if you are like you might you might be somebody who rolls around just on wheels like you've got wheels um because they're all over the front part of your reading here you've got this knight of swords has a motorcycle you've got the figure eight here this guy's on a chariot she's riding a tiger and then there's two horses here i don't know it just really stood out to me with the wheel at the middle whoa okay what else four of wands reverse the tower the hierophant the hangman what <laughs> what and the ace of cups okay 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 um that was a crazy set of cards to get at the end of your reading um the four of wands reversed I love this. The Four of Wands reverse is telling me that, like, this Knight of Wands energy, it's like the completion of this Knight of Wands reverse energy. Like, whatever it is you've been doing that's not good for you, or whatever outlets you've been finding that, like, used to once give you happiness and they're kind of not anymore, um, because you want to be in this grounded, stable, like, chill energy and you, like, realize you've been, like, maybe betraying yourself or doing things that aren't quite good for you because of, like, patterns in the past, right? People you've dealt with who, like, weren't kind to you or weren't, like, valuing you um that four of wands reverse is you being like okay peace out like <laughs> you've got the knight of swords the magician the queen of swords and then the high priestess and you might be feeling a little bit like this queen of cups reverse energy or people might be thinking you are because you're straight up just like chop 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 like i'm leaving um but you do this and it's like this major tower moment like you have the chariot right and the chariot is you moving forward and the tower moment is a good thing here because it's like you needed to clear out those last bits of like connection to that identity like this prince of swords right he's like cutting away those ego identities like those last few bits in order to move forward um and then taming his tiger which is like your passions for temporary um what is it temporary satisfaction in order to with this five of wands sort of allow yourself to to pit your passions against each other to create this like tension that moves you forward like all of these wheels rather than just like mm, i'm gonna have that now you know it's okay to do that sometimes but with a knight of wands reverse you're like no i'm not doing that anymore no more temporary fixes like i'm moving forward um, and you're moving forward with the high, like in the hierophant energy with the high priestess in the back here. So it could be a divine partnership um, that you just don't see coming or you intuitively know is coming, but you're not like, like rationally, your mind hasn't caught up with that idea yet. Um, it could also just be like a relationship with the divine that allows you to feel like totally stoked on life. You have the hangman and the hangman gains the knowledge of the runes um classically by odin like sacrificing himself on a tree and for nine days he was there like with a spear um and i think he gave up his eye like his left eye which is your ability to see rationally so you may very well have given up your like ability to see rationally for a while in order to like go through this cycle with this old person in your life um but the experiences you've been through have essentially with this tower rebuilt a sense of rationality that's more fair to the reality that you're in it's not based on preconceived notions of what a two of cups is supposed to be 
um, based on like, you know, like traumas that you had, weird attachment styles, things like that. It's like clearer. Um, those things have been cut off as well as anyone attached to them. Um, and you have this new emotional beginning and you get to move forward. This is that deep, dark, um, scary subconscious moon queen of wands reverse thing that you were like worried about. It's, it's your new emotional beginning and it comes from recognizing your divine self, your co-creator self, and just seeing like the distractions for what they've been. I definitely get this sense Capricorn that you're in this like elevated, like bird's eye view point on your wheel right now where you're just able to recognize all of the bullshit and you're not, it's not even like you're calling it bullshit. You're just like, Oh, that's, that's what that is. And just queen of swords. Bye. Like I, you may even have had like an awakening or you might be in an awakening right now. Anyway, um, I really like this reading for you. Please let me know if it, uh, what do you call it? Yes, resonated. <laughs> if it did, like, comment, share, subscribe, um, and let me know. I will see you all next week. All right, bye.